Welcome to the A to Z of Virtual Fighter, a series where we try to get to know the complicated world of Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown one letter at a time. Today, F, foot position. We've covered a little bit of this before, but there's more to explore when it comes to foot positioning. So to recap, this isn't like Tekken. Characters don't have a dominant foot, they can switch stance throughout the fight, and this impacts things like what direction you should be sidestepping in, what tracking moves you should be using, and even what combos you have access to. Look out for the red and blue markers on virtualfighter.com indicating whether a combo is possible in open stance or closed stance, or if it doesn't have a marker, both. This matters because in open stance, where one player has their left foot forward and the other has their right foot forward, there's a difference in spacing and often a difference in how the character is going to fall. In closed stance, they're slightly closer together. As much as this is described as foot positioning, keeping an eye on the enemy's limbs while they're moving around the screen on top of keeping track of everything else happening in a fight is a lot to ask for, and a lot of Virtual Fighter veterans will recommend that you associate your foot positioning based on whether you can see your or your opponent's front or their back instead, which are much steadier and slower moving targets to keep track of. If you can see that 1990s graffiti jacket in all its glory when you're facing off against Jackie, it's clear which direction they're facing, and therefore which way to go to avoid that sneaky back knuckle. Bear in mind that some moves include a stance switch, so the footing that you start a combo in might not be how you end the combo. One other useful tip is knowing what moves or other commands your character has for opening and closing stance quickly. The classic trick here that still works for a lot of Virtual Fighter characters is to just press 1K. This can be useful in the dojo when you want to try things in different stances and see if they still work on the fly, although you can also do this in the dojo menu. In general though, get familiar with your character's front and back, as well as identifying open and closed stances. It takes a little while, but can be a really useful skill for controlling space and making sure that you're hitting them with the right stuff. Thanks for watching. For more A to Z of Virtual Fighter, check out the playlist in the description, or subscribe to be the first to know about the next one. I'll see you online.